today's winners and losers on Wall Street with our financial expert Rob Black. And as we get closer to this Apple announcement, uh, we're getting more and more th things leaked about uh, what we could be seeing with the new iPhone. And uh, Wallet looks pretty interesting. Yeah, a mobile wallet is going to be an app. And they've struck a deal over the weekend with Visa, MasterCard, and American Express. And they're going to use the near field communication chip inside the phone, combine it so that you can pay at a retail kiosk with just hitting your fingerprint. Um, I like the idea. Again, it brings up crazy question marks with the leaked uh, celebrity topless so nude photos. Do you really want to put a debit card in a phone? Not me. I'll put a credit card though. So it's nice to see they're getting in this area. They've got 800 million iTunes users as far as accounts go. Um, the advertising, that's the back door here. This is all about advertising. Apple will be able to get about $300 per person who uses the iPhone because they'll be able to send them ads you know, that are targeted. Like they know you just went to Banana Republic. Boom, boom. You get a ad for a Banana Republic competitor and a discount. So I like the potential. All right, we're watching television, and uh, we watched the, the, the transgression, the um, sorry, the move to HDTV. Yes. And now 3D, I'd say, was kind of a bust, wouldn't you? 3D TV. Absolutely. Say it was 4K. A bust. Have you seen 4K yet? I have, and I hear it's amazing. Yeah, I've seen it. And, you have. Uh, you have to go to like a Best Buy. Okay. Um, that's my advice. So it's basically four times more resolution than that's than correct. HD. Um, four times the pixel density. You do notice a slight difference if you've got good eyesight. Not a crazy amount of difference. But this is the way to get people to buy product again, is continuing to evolve it and enhance it. Uh, four times the Im uh, impressions, per se. It's going to be in about 10% of American North American homes by the end of 2018. It'll be in 50% of all homes by the end of 2024. This is a plus for Best Buy because, again, you want to go see it. And then when you're there, of course, you're probably going to showroom, get it from Amazon, deliver to your house but 4k is starting to it's getting faster adaption than hd television ever did so it's a product that i want 55 inch tv at best buy about three thousand dollars but prices are dropping about uh 40 to 50 percent year over year at this point in time great so you and i are just waiting for the price to come down right. uh, under armor i mean there really seems like they're giving nike a little run for their money under armor seems to be everywhere just in the last couple of years yeah, and they tried to go after one of the NBA's biggest stars. Um, KD. KD, Kevin Durant. Um, $265 million offer to get him to Oof. endorse their products. Um, but Nike had the option of saying, nope, we'll take that offer and we'll match it and or go higher. That's exactly what Nike did. It's going to be north of $300 million deal for seven years. He's going to get paid more for you know, wearing shoes than for playing basketball. Um, Nike's uh, market of the basketball uh, of the NBA is about 96%. That's pretty impressive. Under Armour is about 1%. This was going to be about 10% of Under Armour's total advertising for the year. These are two great companies, both going the right direction. I like Nike because they're a giant. I love Under Armour because they have the ability to steal from a giant. Um, although in this case, they did not. Okay. And we're watching, we have a question here from Brandon. And Brandon asks what we've all been asking Rob. Uh, with the market hitting recent highs, how much higher can it go? Morgan Stanley did a piece that just said if North America earns 6% profits, in the next six years, the market will be up to 3,000, S&P 500, 3,000. That's only 50%, and that's actually under historical norms. So yes, I do think the market goes higher. Um, the cycle is that the United States is a very safe place to be right now. Emerging markets should catch up to us at that point in time. I think it's, you know, take some risk off the table, but I think we got a good two to three years minimum left in this bull market. All right, we like to hear that. Thank you. And if you have a question for Rob, post on his Facebook fan page, and we'll answer it right here on Cron 4. We'll be right back.